Here to make it all legit to do the Canadian Music Hall of Fame induction presented by TD. Please welcome Cardinal Officiel. Only once in many lifetimes do some have the opportunity to answer back when the Most High calls to share the gift which he has bestowed upon you. Heavy is the head that wears the crown, and heavy is the heart that reps the town. To the king go the spoils, but to the godfather goes the admiration, the thanks, the love, and the irrevocable gratitude of a nation. Generations of b-boys, from Malvern to Finch, North Preston to Vancouver, have witnessed the crown prince. While tropes of gold and laceless shoes were globally the norm, as a kid in Canada, I witnessed the infamous black tuxedo take the world by storm. An educated Guyanese Canadian with his conductor's cool had every rap fan reciting his lyrics in every concert hall and in every school. This is a throwdown, a showdown. More than three decades in the game and he still ain't slow down. I first met Wes Williams as a young boy, merely 13 years old. He could have refused to communicate and offer a cold shoulder, a shoulder cold. Instead, with confidence and an aura built on principle, he shared wisdom and jewels that allowed me to build a career invincible. I was. We all were students of the dope state. And since then, we've held a reverence too dynamic to articulate. He is our first rap hero, our rap prime minister, our blueprint that every hood and every suburb wanted to listen to. He paved the way in gold, leaving little for himself, always selfless with a heart that can't be measured by any wealth. He dropped the needle and conducted things, fine-tuned the mic for these induction things. He made our backbone slide and brought joy to these eyes. For the man I'm about to bring out, I need everybody to rise. Canada, recognize when you're in the presence of the best. This year's Hall of Fame recipient, Maestro Fresh West. This is a throwdown. A showdown. I don't know what gets slowed down. It's, it's gonna, gonna go. go. First to fast. On the mix. Yeah. Don't wanna break. Okay, party people in the house. One, two, three. Come on and break. break. This jam is amplified. Just glide. Let the backbone, backbone slide. Born Wesley Williams in 1968 to immigrant parents from Guyana and raised in Scarborough, Ontario. Wes's career trajectory was set at age 11, the day his dad played him Sugar Hill Gang's Rapper's Delight. I know that Maestro's performed all around the world for thousands of people, but it was on this very stage in 1979 where he had his first performance. Kids didn't know what was going on, but they, they sure liked it. By 15, West, now called Melody MC, had teamed up with rapper Ebony MC to form the group Vision Crew before eventually going solo. Drop it. Changing his name to Maestro Fresh West and changing his style to include that iconic black tuxedo, black tuxedo, black, 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 black. On his lunch break while working as a security guard, he wrote a song called Let Your Backbone Slide, and performing it live on Much Music led to his groundbreaking record deal. I was to interview Stevie B from LMR Records, and he says, we're looking for some new talent to sign. Do you know of anything? Maestro Fresh West was performing across the hall on the electric circus. Introduced them to Maestro. The rest is history. You listen to every word I say. Every it was the first word, Canadian hip-hop single to chart in the Billboard to Top 40. The first song from a Canadian hip-hop artist to ever go gold. And in 2019 became the first rap song ever inducted into the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame. Hip-hop tip tactician. The song's massive success, along with the undeniable growth of black music in Canada, prompted the Junos to create a category for best rap recording in 1991, which Maestro won for his platinum-selling debut, Symphony in Effect. Maestro. Over the course of his five-decade career, Maestro has recorded ten albums with a myriad of hits. He is also an accomplished film and television actor, host, inspirational author, and motivational speaker. 
Tonight we gather to celebrate you. The Godfather. The Canadian rap prime minister. Big up, big up. Thank you for being the shoulders that we could stand on. Friend. The epitome of longevity. Legend. We're proud of you. Family. Fan for life, my brother. You represent hip hop. Big congrats to you, my friend. We got our own national hero here. Yeah, he's like the Canadian superhero. Tonight, we pay homage to one of the most influential figures in Canadian music history, Maestro Fresh West. Started with a symphony, the summer's still a mystery. Keep making records, I'ma keep on making history. Maestro Fresh West! Maestro Fresh Wes is also a member of the Canadian Songwriters Hall of Fame. In 2023, he established the Maestro Fresh Wes Scholarship with NSCC for Black Youth and the Skilled Trades. This summer, he'll be the first hip-hop artist to receive the Governor General's Performing Arts Award for Lifetime Artistic Achievement. Oh my goodness, Halifax, make some noise for Bubba Carter now! Wow. This is incredible, this is incredible. Listen, um, you gotta raise that so I can start speaking, but this is a beautiful thing being here. Um, I wanna thank the Most High for showering me with his blessings. Big up to Karis for acknowledging me. Last year we celebrated hip hop's 50th anniversary, but my parents celebrated their 57th anniversary. So, big up to my mom and dad, to the whole Williams family, to my brother Warren, and to my sister, Her Excellency, DJ Mel Boogie. To my son, Sir Chancellor Williams I, and his lovely mother, Tamara. Thank you, thank you. I wrote my first rhyme in 1979, and I never thought that in 1991, I'd receive the very first Juno Award for rap music. Wow, right? In that moment, I felt great. At that same time, songwriting icon, Leonard Cohen, received his Hall of Fame Award. And I was instantly humbled. Who would have thought in 2024, I'd be standing here on stage holding the exact same award, man. This is hip hop. And as MCs, we're some of the greatest songwriters, but we couldn't do it without our producers. I want to shout out some of them right now. First Offense, K Cut, Too Rude, Classified, Andrew AAA. We created a backbone and started conducting things. And when we had to stick to our vision, because it's hard to be hip hop. And now, this music we love won't ever be underestimated. Big up to Farley Flex, DJ LTD and their families, the legendary Stevie B for connecting me with LMR Records. Thank you to Much Music, Electric Circus, Attic Records, Al Mayor, rest in peace, AM, Alan Reed. I had a high top, he had a mullet, but we both look good. Two of the greatest Canadian video directors of all time, Joe Goldberg and Director X. Two super groups who motivated me, Mission Me in LA Love and the legendary Dream Warriors. Two of my mentors, Ron Nelson and Chuck D from the legendary Public Enemy, because it takes a nation of millions to hold us back. Salute DJ Greg and every single DJ I had. Big up Ebony MC and my family and his family. Big up to all my dancers and to all the fans that have supported my music. Salute to St. John, New Brunswick. And a place called Scarborough. Where we don't make records, we make history. Thank you. Keep it going for Maestro, Fresh, Wes, a Canadian icon, an absolute legend. Yo, I am here in the TD Zone 
with some of the nominees this year. What's up, what's up, what's up? We got more coming. This is the Juno Awards, y'all.